Hi, uh, we are the Codependent Knitters. This is Dawn, this is Lisa, and uh, we're from Sarnia, Ontario, and this is episode seven. Um, I wanna take a minute to thank everyone for watching and any new subscribers, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's a knitting podcast and sometimes other things, but mostly knitting. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and today is a kind of a mini episode. We just wanna update you on our knit alongs and um, make a little announcement about the Woodstock Fleece Festival. Yay! So, I can't wait. I cannot wait. We're very excited. Wait. We can start counting sleeps because it's less than two weeks. <laughs> it is. Um, it is. It's 11. Oh, Yay! 11. 11. From today. Okay. So, yeah. So, first off, we it's October and we had mentioned that we were going to do a sock knit along for Socktober. I'm going to try again. Lisa's going to give I'm going to socks try again. Try. Come back Jump to the in. socks. Yes, I'm going to come back to the fold, come back to the socks. So, so it started, it's starting now, so starting October. However, we've decided to include whips. So this is a great finish up your socks. You, you know, know those long. socks you have hiding in, underneath the bag that you haven't finished? I do too. I have a bag of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those ones that are hiding, we can finish those. That'll be yep. good. They just have to be finished before the end of October. Yes. 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 Um, there will be giveaways. We were... We had some ideas. We haven't finalized them yet. There will be giveaways. There'll be at least two. Mm -hmm. So um, we will put the threads up in our Ravelry group. So we are the codependent knitters on Ravelry. And we will have a whip and chat thread and a finished object thread. And if you put something in the finished object thread, make sure you put it in the whip th thread so that we can uh, comment. Because I hate that. Yeah, because the FO thread is no chat so that it's really easy to do a random number drawing for the giveaways. So. Every chat counts as an entry, um, even replies. So that's why we do it that way. Uh, so yeah, so you're gonna come back to socks. You're gonna finish socks that you have? I'm gonna try and finish socks. I have a, do you have some? Bag that is unfinished a... socks. Holy, oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just was like... Okay, well, what kind of okay. bag is this? That is a zigzag stitches bag. Oh, look, it's my Catherine. I know, Not isn't it? Cute. Or alpacas. Ah, either or, we're gonna go with one of them. These kind of look like llamas. Well, they're thinking about knitting, so. There but alpacas, alpacas are alpacas are freaking cute. I know. Okay. So yeah. What's in your bag? <gasps> what's what's in my bag? I wow. have these ones that I have to finish. I'm are those the finish. do over? No, I didn't. Those I are, the, even those done are not those. the ones yeah. that you tore out. These no. are another pair. Those are another. They're pair. almost done. They're almost done. And then I have these ones, which are no heels. That's for the people with no heels. <laughs> <laughs> if you know anyone, call me. <laughs> So yeah, so there's those ones. Oh, that's, that's pretty. Lauren, that's Lorna's lace. It's really your pretty. Colors. It's a gray, but it almost has a, a purplish hue. Yeah, it's Lauren, and that's it's really nice, really eh? soft. Yeah. Do you know what the fiber is? I mean, obviously, it's, uh, it's, wool it's nylon. Yeah, it's wool nylon. And then I have these ones. Who again? I. You know what? I think I get to this point, and I don't want to do them anymore. They're all the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, those have a heel flap, just like these have a heel flap. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So again, Lorna, I actually too. bought those Blues when we brown. first moved here from, no, these ones, when we first moved here from Feather Your Nest, which means they're seven years old. <laughs> I don't know if I started Girl, them immediately. You and have these three here, here are almost done. And these ones here, it's funny because I actually bought these when my husband was doing the interview to get the job here. From Feather okay, Your Nest. need to finish these. I know. It's That's too bad. bad. <laughs> it's too bad we're not eligible for our own prizes. Because <laughs> you have like three chances here. Yeah, so you got to support me. Come on. Make awesome. sure I get them done. Those so. are great. Yeah. I am going to do, to keep it quick and easier, a, um, a plain vanilla sock, but I have self-striping yarn. So this is the yarn that I got oh, um, yeah, yeah. from the Cozy Knitter. I bought it at the Kitchener Fest. And it's, it's different colors and then there's black stripes in between each color i believe this was a like this was a trip to wind because i was watching the ball winder <laughs> so you see color and then color and then yeah it was really fun awesome and then there's a contrast it came as a, a duo so there's a contrasting color it's like a tealy blue for like heels it. and toes i like it yeah so i'm gonna that do was those. a hard that was a really really hard booth i couldn't make oh, a decision to, to not buy all well of them. even things i couldn't make a decision I had a really, I, yeah. You bought one from there. I we did. talked about it in our last I episode. Did. So we won't go too much into deal, but yeah, into detail. But look at, this is my little sock sack from Evertote. 
Is that what they call it? I thought it was a tote to go. It's ever tote. This is the sock to go tote. This is a mini, nice. the mini one. And it's, it's just very perfect. girly. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this sock to Woodstock. Mm -hmm. So then if I want to knit on it while I'm doing it, waiting, anything, I can just have it in here and knit away. Can I get you to put the blue ball at the bottom then? So it doesn't roll out? I'll probably just put it in another bag until I need it. Okay. Yeah. Get so, her all organized awesome. so she doesn't Super mess up. Super duper cute. So the, I'm going to do those and I do have a pair. It's the simple skip or Skype. Some people say the simple skip sock. Mm -hmm. um, in Ancient Arts Eiffel Tower. Oh, nice. The reinvent base in the colorway Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. that has been on my needles since I think January. And I'm at the point where I think I'm ready to do the heel flap. Okay. And I haven't yet. So it, they're just sitting. So, and I like was doing these those for yeah. people without heels. And I was doing those two at a time as well. Yeah. This one I'm going to do one at a time just so it's easier when, if I'm, you know, at the show or just standing around, I can, it's just easier to manage. Do you find sometimes when you do socks, if the colors are exciting or if you really like the color, you get them done faster? I don't know. Because I haven't done... Because I'm not really excited about these This colors. is my first... No, not true. No? Well, this will be the first that I haven't ripped out. <laughs> no, it's not. I did those Nemo socks for Jack. Yeah. No, Dory. The Dory sock. The Who got the Nemo? Tang fish. I haven't done them yet. Hmm. I saw them in my stash yesterday. So I have done. And it, yeah, it's fun. This is going to be neat because it's all different colors. So it'll be cool to get yeah. to the next color. That Those, if they're stripes, I find sometimes I'm like, oh, I want to see what the next stripe looks like. So I just want to get stripe. to the next stripe. Oh, I want to do it. Yeah. It's like color work. So that, those are going to be my socks. So that's yes, our sock that. knit along. The other knit along we have going on right <laughs> already, it's in progress, is the fall shawl knit along, which Lisa wanted to do because she wanted to knit a shawl because she's not usually um, a big shawl maker. And Actually, she's, it's funny because I wanted to do a lace shawl. crazy. I wanted to do a lace shawl, but yeah. I like it. Yeah, no. Go big or go home. I know. <laughs> so Lisa, we started this. So it's the fall shawl knit along. So any shawl, um, that goes until the end of October as well. And because Lisa went a little nut bar on the Wellington work sock shawl, She's on number four. <laughs> we did, and then, you know, I started one, and some of our friends and viewers are doing them as well now. There is. Actually, um, some of them are already done. There's at least four. Yeah, yeah. one's already done. Yeah. There's at least four that I can think of right off the top of my head. Probably more. So, um, we decided you get an extra entry if you make the Wellington Work Sock Shawl. And Just is, so I don't feel crazy. <laughs> and that's by Sam Lamb on Ravelry. And um, Lisa has done, we showed these in our last episode. That was the first one. This I is the, the, um, that one. the true to pattern version with uh, ribbed edging. Okay, like a sock would have. Mm -hmm. Then you did number two. No, that was not number two. This is number two. No, no this, this is, is number, number two. two. <laughs> number two. I'm losing my mind. And this is number two. She did a garter edge, which is a little faster. It's also stretchier for me, the way I knit. Yeah, it's nice. So mm -hmm. that was number two. Oh, and she also changed the gray. So these are all using... Patton's. Um, it was just what I had in a tub. Patton's classic wool. Yeah, it's, I have So this is the dark gray, kind of like a charcoal. It's, it's very... We've got bright light in here today, but there, that's a little better. You can see it's very dark. Then she did the... That's the charcoal. The medium marl. marl. Mm -hmm. That's the dark marl. Dark marl. Yeah. Well, it's like lighter than this though, isn't it? Or maybe no, not. I think it's the same gray. Maybe not. And then you changed it up. <laughs> I love this. this. I did the light marl with a denim blue, which is really nice. It's not quite me, but it's nice. And I have a request from my friend Tammy to make this one for her. So I picked up the yarn, Tammy, and we'll, we'll get to it sometime. <laughs> I feel kind of, done I do kind of feel responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. It's, it's a very easy knit. And okay. now you're doing number four. I went back to the charcoal. I like it, but on a bigger needle. On a bigger needle. And and then you put a little fancy edge on here. Because I played chicken and ran out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. Okay, so number four is technically done, right? You just it's have done. to- It's done, I just have to tuck in the ends and- And block. And block. But you saw what I was blocking when you came in, right? Yeah. It's so close to working. Your sweater. My sweater. This my gray sweater. My husband sweater washed. <laughs> I just want to say, this is why you block. Even though it's just a shawl and it's just a triangle, 
So if you look, if you oh, were just yeah, to, yeah. you know, just to just, I know okay, the experienced nerves know this, but a lot of people won't block and you don't have to, but if you just look at your edge here, right, it's just kind of, it flips. Yeah. It doesn't doing matter. Some funky things. But when you block it, it's going to be perfectly flat. Yay. Perfection. So it just gives it a really nice finished look. And these triangle shells are the easiest of easy to block. You don't yeah, even really yeah. need to pin them. You could lay them out flat on a towel. You don't have to have I don't pin the it. fancy I didn't blocking. Them. You didn't? No. I do. Wow. Because those ones I didn't. What I did was I yeah. put cups. <laughs> you just wait. Yeah, you can do that too. Wait them. Yeah. Right? Because so, I do it at my kitchen counter. Nice. Uh, so, oh, and mine is, um, I've been knitting. I banged out a couple hats and did a few other things. So I've been working. Got, how many hats do you do? Three. Two. I think I finished. Well, I finished two. They're kind of good. I have to do the ends. Um, so mine is still, is still going. And I'm going to work on that next week a lot more. Nice. Um, yeah, so those are our two knit alongs. We do have a hashtag for the shawl knit along. CK Fall Shawl K A L. And uh, if you're working on something, post it on Instagram and tag us and use the hashtag. And um, we haven't done a hashtag for our, our sock one, but um, we can. Yeah. Once, once we post a few, we'll uh, make yeah. a hashtag for that. And we do have some new members on our Ravelry group. I we noticed, do. yeah, I some more people Yay. have joined us. So thank you for joining Yay. us. And I hope you have socks and shawls that you are either working on or can um, pull out and work on um, this month and get them into our knit alongs. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. Okay, so we're done the official business and then there's the fun stuff. Oh, so I'm really we, excited about the fun stuff. Woodstock is coming up. Yes, and August the 14th. The 14th. 14th, August, August. So for Victoria, those of you not in, a, if you're in Ontario, 14th. yeah, October 14th. Mm -hmm. If you're in Ontario, specifically Southwestern Ontario, then you probably know about the Woodstock Fleece Fest. And if you don't, it's in Woodstock and it's on Saturday, October 14th. And it is fantastic. Um, there are they it's have one of my animals. It's oh, one of it's, my I think it is mine too. Yeah. They have animals. They have classes. They have amazing vendor fair. They have um, a lot of um, a lot of the vendors. I find, anyways, um, there, there's a lot of vendors, but it always feels like small town. Yeah, it's a very yeah. cozy feeling. Very personal. Show. Very. Yeah. And it's at the fairgrounds where they have a big farmer market as well. So mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a lot of people there because of the farmers market next yeah. door. It's a good farmer's market, too. I haven't been because I'm too busy going to the yarn show. And it's a fleece. It's like a fiber festival. So they have the animals. They have stuff for spinners, weavers. Oh. It's not just yarn. Remember those big, it's fluffy, everything. Those big fluffy rabbits? They were cute. Oh, yeah. Year. Hopefully they have the rabbits again. And then they had the alpacas. alpacas I, so you know cute. what? They have the big fence up and the alpaca comes and he rests you can his pet head. Them. And I just sat and pet him. Just, oh, can we take him home? <laughs> you can pet oh, he was so soft and fluffy. Oh. He was so fluffy. <laughs> and we joked for the Kitchener show. We kind of joked about, you know, taking our lunch and having a tailgate party. We did take our lunch because the Kitchener odd being in the hockey arena, there are not really, we were planning on being there all day. So most people probably don't spend their whole day there and leave and, and go have lunch somewhere else or whatever. Um, but we come from out of town and we brought a lunch and so we just go to our car and eat it um, And we joked about having a tailgate party. So then Last week the fiber friends from London Adrian Louise and Caroline hi ladies our friends. They came to Sarnia to visit. Yes, they and did we had and we an had awesome, an awesome time. It was a blast We had an awesome day with them. We took them we the, two of them had been here before but Caroline had not only so, iPad Caroline. Only iPad Caroline came. And the she real Caroline is so much easier <laughs> and not as demanding she can walk on as her own. iPad <laughs> <laughs> So we took them to, we went to Feather Your Nest. Yes. And then we went to um, Burger, Bur no. No, we went to the Fool. We went to the Refined Fool, which is yep. a local craft brewery. And we ordered Burger Rebellion, which is probably the best oh, yum, burger yum, 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 truck. Yum. Um, and had, had lunch there and knit for a while. They're very knit friendly there. They have stitch and sip every Sunday afternoon at the yep. Fine Pool in Sarnia from one to three. And then we went to Heaven is Handmade, which is our local yarn shop. Yep. And um, they were knitting. Yep, did some look around there. There were a few people in the classroom and we had dawdled <laughs> most of the day. So we didn't stay in knit that time. No. Um, but then we went up to um, a little bakery called Vanilla Bean. Yes. Vanilla, Vanilla Bean, Bean Bakery. Yum yum! Oh my gosh! I have never. I've been in Sarnia. And killer for four years. cupcakes. They are so. Good. I haven't been there before. My it favorite so is good. the chili chocolate. She makes this chili chocolate 
cupcake with a oh. big chunk of Lind chocolate on top, and yeah. it's like chili peppers and chocolate. We and had an afternoon oh. dessert and uh, tea and coffee. Did we get pictures of those? There are pictures of all the desserts that were on our Instagram, and I'll mm -hmm. put them at the end of the um, yeah. video. And they That's do they do lunch there, and she's got wine and all kinds of stuff. So it's a it's a really nice place. Hey, what are so, you doing for lunch now? You want to go for a cupcake? <laughs> <laughs> we could. And then um, that was the, our day. So while we were sitting having dessert and talking, we were talking about um, Woodstock, and we mentioned our idea our idea of having a um, a tailgate party. So we're gonna do it. So not the traditional tailgate. I mean, I've never been to an actual like football tailgate party. There will be no alcohol. No, no. Well, <laughs> we're not condoning the use of alcohol because we all have to drive there. Yeah. Um, and it's not like a potluck thing. It's just buy or bring your lunch, whatever you do, Basically, or not. Just come. Visit. We're going to be having our. We're going to be having our lunch. So come and keep us company. Yeah. <laughs> and so bring your knitting. Bring bring your knitting. Come sit. Well. So this is the thing, we're planning on doing it at our vehicle and um, we're hoping to coordinate it so that the fiber frames are parked beside us and we have a little space. And it's all weather permitting. permitting. So I mean, if it's nasty raining, then that's not gonna work. Um, we will be putting updates on our Instagram account. So follow Codependent Knitters or at Codependent Knitters on Instagram. Um, and then we will let you know where we're parked. Um, we're not totally sure which of our vehicles we're bringing mm -hmm. because mine has like a hatchback that you can actually sit inside if it's, um, but if it's nasty weather, no one's coming anyways. Yeah. So, um, if you want to bring, throw a lawn chair in your car and bring that, you can bring a lawn chair over and sit with us for a while. We're thinking we'll start at around one o'clock and again, we'll Instagram when we're at our vehicles and we're ready to play. And, um, yeah, come, just come visit for a while. We're staying for the day as well, again. So we thought, okay, we'll take a break, go to our car, have a little rest and bite to eat. A little fresh air, do some knitting. A little fresh air. It's been good weather. Last year was really nice. The year before it was usually, okay. Yeah. So we're hoping it's just, as long as it's dry. Um, oh, it's pretty not weather, nice weather here now. It's beautiful. It's been really nice. Yeah. So as long as it's dry, um, then we'll be doing this. And so yeah. we will That'll probably have, we were talking about having some balloons. Yep, having balloons on the vehicle to identify it, and we'll post a picture so you know where to find us. You're not going to tape them to the vehicle, right? No, no, no. Okay. I'll put like I was thinking, getting the strings on them that you can just okay. put them in the Perfect. window, yep. like like lock them through the window, yeah, or the car door or whatever. Okay. And yeah, we'll probably be the only people hanging out at the back of our car eating lunch outside, knitting with I balloons. I got you covered. Don't worry. Do you think that there'll be a confusion over any other people doing? That? Probably not. <laughs> so it should be easy to find us. So we will be um, giving you updates on that on Instagram closer to when we know what the weather's going to be like and day I of. Th I think it would be fun to meet people. It'll be awesome. Like you the get fiber to see friends. what they write. Mm -hmm. You get to see their comments. You get to see what they make. You get to see all this stuff. But it would actually yeah. be nice to. Well, the fiber friends are joining us in that. So it's a partnership um, party. And um, they're telling all of their friends, and we're telling all of you. And it's like that commercial. If you're there, come see you us. You tell two friends, and, and they'll two two friends, and they'll tell two friends. You put it on Instagram, so and instantly so tell hundred friends. <laughs> <laughs> Times are changing. We're, there's no word of mouth anymore. We just put it on social media. Yeah. So, so that's our big um, excitement for Woodstock. So um, if you're able to go, if you're in the area, we hope you're you're going because it's a fantastic show. It is. It's a good one. It's really good. I'm trying not to spend any money on yarn before then, and I haven't. I haven't. We were at Feather. I she you always looks at me like this. We you were didn't. At, I did not. We were at Feather Your Nest, and there's a cowl that she had done in the Peru, which is what I used. To, yes. The Blue Moon Fiber yep. Arts Peru base, which is what I used for my Zilver shawl that I showed in the last episode, and I. Terry has a cowl there, and I really wanted to make it in Peru. And I held back because I can go get yarn from her anytime. anytime. What? Didn't you just buy oh, that? Shoot. <laughs> okay, technically I bought the yarn to make this. But this was not, like, indulgent. This, was a, this is economical. <laughs> you know what? This is, this is not yarn for knitting. This is the yarn for Christmas. <laughs> no, this one's for me. Oh, that one's for you. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> so... I've been, I've been holding back, but then guess what? So we were really, um, uh -oh. slackers on getting our income tax done. So we just finally took it in last week and got our income tax done and I have an income tax return. So Yay. I'm saving a bit of that income tax return okay. for the, um, Woodstock. So good, I'll good, have a little good. bit of, uh, a little bit of budget to do some looking there. 
because um, there'll be no trouble finding ways to spend it. It's a beautiful show. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. So if you are going, do you know what they have there that's really cool and you get to watch? What? They have, there's, last couple of years, there's a guy and it's got a, a crank knitter. Oh, the sock? The sock knitter. I could watch that guy for hours. I would love to get one of those. I know. <laughs> no. If you are tuned in to the Yarn Hoarder podcast and Grocery Girls, um, then you've probably heard a bit about the sock knitting machine. Yeah, I don't have issues with that. <laughs> we don't have um, issues with but, that. But, but I would watching love it, one. just watching it, like yeah. it's mesmerizing. Just he does it, and I'm like, okay, okay, do it again, do it. Again. <laughs> yeah, there's. I think there's one or two guys that have no. booths there that do them. And I, I would love just... one if I could afford one, because then I could make like, especially the vanilla socks, like with the self striping yarn. If I did anything that was vanilla, yep, I would love to put those on a knitting machine and then save my knitting time for. Um, patterns that you know I want to learn something new or try yeah. a different stitch or do cables or something just something more interesting mm -hmm. um, so it just I figure it's easier on not enough time to make all the socks nobody's got anything to say but yeah, exactly. I could I could watch that thing for hours I'm so excited I hope he's there <laughs> me too I want to see I want to check them out and I want to know what they cost and how they work and it's a it's a maybe someday over the rainbow in my future <laughs> well you know what I would like to videotape it <laughs> Just when I need to be soothed. Good idea. When I need a little soothing white noise. Why not? Because it is, and I just need it equivalent. It's... And I can't take my eyes. Yeah, I'm gonna off video the you <laughs> in a in a hypnotic trance watching the sock machine. Seriously, it's just, and I can feel my eyes bugging, and just, yeah, I can't. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there, and we hope you'll be there too. And I think that's all we had to talk about on that's our mini cast. Are we going to be back before the show then? Probably not. We'll come back right after. We can come back right after. Okay. Depends on how. That's our plan then is to podcast a, a more um, thorough podcast because I've got some FOs and we'll have whips and we'll have socks on the go and you'll probably have six more of these shells done. I have to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be able to talk about the fair and, and any exciting things we found there and, and uh, hopefully share some and our tailgate And our tailgate party. Yeah. yeah, I hope people show up. Like, it might you just be the it's five of us. That's fine. It'll be fun. You know what's funny is, I I kind of thought it would be funny because that's what they do at football games. Yeah. That's what they do at, yeah. And we have to, you know, it's a big outdoor You gotta eat. Lot. Might as well. We will probably, our plan is to park. If you haven't been there, there is parking in the big parking lot by the building, which mm -hmm. is usually crazy and full because of the farmer's market. So the overflow parking, particularly for the um, Woodstock Fleece Festival, is you go kind of behind the big main building and there's a great big track out back mm -hmm. and people just park like around the track on the grass etc and it's usually um pretty organized parking so we will be out there somewhere and we're hoping not to be too far from the building if we can arrange that but we'll be out there somewhere um just so you know it's that's the parking lot or parking area where we will try to park yep and it'll just be safer out there too if you're hanging around a vehicle because the main parking lot it's going to be constant. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's um, a good location for it. And we have a little more space. You good? Okay. Well, okay. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next we'll time. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. I'm Lisa and this is Dawn and we are the Codependent Knitters. Um, we are doing episode, what do you make? Do that again, you sound like it. And we are the Codependent Knitters. <laughs> like a teacher. <laughs>